Hey everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, a genie vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. In today's video, I will be reacting to Dr. Phil Amazed with results of family history search from MyHeritage. This was a fairly recently done video. It was put out December 18th, 2019, so just, you know, within the past three months. But I know that Dr. Phil was on Finding Your Roots uh, within the past year or two uh, with Henry Louis Gates Jr., so I know that he found out a lot through that. So I'm curious to see what else uh, they may have found. And uh, I doubt they did any DNA stuff with this video because I'm sure they would have put that in the title. But um, I'm curious to see, you know, maybe they involved some DNA in this research. But let's jump in and uh, see what, what they did. Well, like many people, I've always been curious about my family history. Who were my ancestors? What did they do for a living? So last year, I partnered with my heritage to find out about the people in my family tree, and it was really fascinating. It's fascinating how little I really knew. They found information dating back to the 1800s. Take a look. We have a photo of your great great grandfather but on your father's side. His name is Puff. Oh wow, I didn't even know that he did this, this back in uh great great grandfather on your father's side. Now, he was I wonder if this was before he did finding your roots or right around the same world. time. Well, he looks kind of a little kind of like me, I guess. And we also know that you have a very impressive family tree because we found out that you are the 11th cousin three times removed of President George H. W. Bush. Really? Yes. Yeah. That is your best wow. family tree. Well, right, joining me once again is Yvette Corcoran, a consultant with My Heritage. So, welcome back, Yvette. Hi, great hey. to be back. Thank well, you so much. You guys have kept digging. I understand you have even more information, and That's right. I am hungry to hear about it. First of all, let me tell you about that My Heritage is the world's leading website for discovering family history. Millions of users around the world use My Heritage to go on and learn more about their ancestors, like you did, Dr. Phil, and it's super easy to do. It is easy. And Robin also learned you, you got into it as well. Yes, I found that to be so meaningful. I really, truly felt like you took me back put me in the room with my entire family and allowed me to meet every one of them. I loved it. I was astounded how much you found out of how little I had to do. It really is super easy. So using their powerful technology, MyHeritage actually does the searching for you. They make it super easy for anyone anywhere to go in and start clicking in and discovering their family history and ancestors like you and Robin have. A warning with what she's saying though, a big problem that happens in the genealogy world is that people will build family trees on websites like MyHeritage, but people aren't always correct. And sometimes people will put incorrect things in their family tree, put errors, uh, they may misread documents, or they may you know, just do something incorrectly. And then what happens is, is that other people will go onto these websites, the websites will say, oh, you should add this information because this other person has all of this other stuff that's matching you. But you don't have this information, even though it's wrong, but the system doesn't know it's wrong. So then those people add it, and then next thing you know, there are hundreds of different people with all of these family trees with incorrect information. So then it becomes really, really difficult to figure out what information is correct and what isn't because you try to find it and you end up finding all of these different trees, but they're all sourcing other family trees. So when that kind of stuff happens, you need to start digging into the paper trail yourself. And MyHeritage, they do, you know, they have documents that you can search for. Um, I also suggest, you know, go on Family Search, uh, go on Ancestry, which, you know, Ancestry does have a uh, membership fee, as does MyHeritage. Although you can probably go to a library uh, near you, and most libraries will have free access to that. Uh, along with a lot of other uh, heritage websites, um, you know, newspapers.com, Fold3, um, which are ancestry-owned websites, but then um, also uh, Genealogy Bank, uh, the different, um, you know, archives that are, are all around the country where they may be on, you know, different databases or like the New England Historical Genealogical Society, they have their own database as well. So, you know, in this, they make it sound like, you know, you go in and click, 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 and, you know, you can trust everything. 
Uh, but when you, if, if you're going to go in and start doing this kind of stuff, if you've never done it before, don't just go in and start adding every little thing without kind of verifying it or looking into it. Um, it's a really good thing to get into that habit of not believing everything you read on the internet, you know, especially when it comes to family trees and going through and verifying that. So, you know, if you find something in a tree that doesn't make sense or it's not sourced, you know, it might be a good idea to not include that in your own family tree or at least note the inconsistencies or the lack of sourcing. Um, you know, don't help that error information become propagate, propagated even more. So but let's see. Uh, let's see what they actually found. Got it. I just log in. Everything comes up and I can click on a relative in my family tree and learn about their jobs, where they've lived, and a whole lot more. So I've been, I've actually been doing this. It's kind of fascinating, and I, I look up and 30 minutes has gone by. Really fascinated with it. Well, last time we were here, we talked to you about your grandpa, Joe McGraw. This is your right. grandpa on your dad's side. We showed you the 1910 census, where right. he stated that he was working as a wagon driver in a feed store. Right. There it is right there. You can see it. That's right. the 1910 census. We then find that in 1920, he was working as a farmer. And now let's head over to the 1940 census where we find him. He has changed careers once again. This time your grandpa Joe says that he's working as a meat cutter in a meat store. Did you know your grandpa was a butcher? Oh, hell no. <laughs> so he was a butcher? He was a butcher among other things. But you can really learn so much by these documents because just from looking at the census, he also declared that in 1939, he worked a total of 52 weeks, but he also said that he earned a total of $840 for the year. I told you we were poor. So let's see if there's more luck on another branch of your family tree. Now we're going to go back five generations to your great, great, great grandfather. His name was William Russell. Now, William, we know he was born in 1794 in North Carolina, but there really wasn't very much information about his life. We did, however, find something really interesting about his death. We found a document after his death that showed all the property that was sold off after he died. In this, you can see that they sold off one table, seven chairs, two axes, a shotgun, a washing bin, and a whole bunch of livestock, including red heifer and calves and pigs, for a grand total of $41.93. Oh, you're <laughs> kidding me. Now, what, what is what? it looks like that's usually, yeah, okay, William Russell's property inventory. Okay, so yeah, so this is the court uh, basically getting rid of the uh, estate, selling off the estate. Um yeah, I wasn't I wasn't sure if this was uh, a will or some sort of, you know, other probate record. Um, so but yeah, these are these are really fun records to find when you're doing genealogy. You get to look into the household of your ancestors, see what they have. And, um, you know, in the rare instances that you may have um, heirlooms from family, sometimes you may be able to find an heirloom actually listed. Um you know, I've, I don't know any personal cases of that, but that's something that I've always kind of wanted uh, to happen because I actually have a glass that was passed down to me from my second great grandfather that he brought over with him from Kiev to America. So, you know, if I ever found some sort of will or something talking about the glass from Kiev, you know, that'd be really cool. So stock including Let's red continue. heifer and calves and pigs for a grand total of $41.93. Oh, you're <laughs> kidding me. I'm not kidding you. William had a son and his name was Samuel. He is your great, great grandfather. Samuel married a woman named Sarah Ann. She, of course, is your great, great grandmother. And look at this beautiful photo that we found. That's your great, great grandmother there in the green box. Have you ever seen a photo of her before? No, I never even knew she existed. She's there pictured with the rest of the family, and that photo was taken around 1877. Let's go back wow. to Grandpa Joe McGraw. Last time we showed you his 1917 World War One draft registration document. Right. We have learned that service to this country runs on both sides of your family because your mother's father, your maternal grandfather, also served. Now, we found his World War One draft registration document. His name is John Stevens, and that yeah. is it right there. It states that he was 30 years old when he registered. He was working as a farmer on his father-in-law's farm, says that he had blue eyes, black hair, and was tall and slender. Yeah, now him I knew. You did. Because that was my grandfather, and he was like six foot 11. Yes, very tall. And oh, my, wow. And my grandmother was 4'10". Wow. Yes. <laughs> wow. Seriously. <laughs> 
six eleven and four ten, <laughs> and uh, and when I introduced Robin to my grandmother, you remember what she said? Why do you want to marry a little old tiny thing like that for? <laughs> yeah, she's four ten. Asked me why I want to marry a little old thing like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so once again, I am amazed and fascinated with all of this information that my heritage has found out about my family history. Thank you for bringing no, me all this information. Thank you so much for this having is me. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, yeah, that was that was pretty cool. Um, they didn't really, you know, I mean, they got into some stuff. Uh, you know, I mean, it's only five and a half minute long video, so you know, it's not like they could do super deep dives into stuff, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of a good basic overview of, you know, if you do your gene genealogy, what kind of stuff can you find? And, you know, you can find these different photos, you know, if you locate different relatives of yours that you've never known about, they may have inherited things that you've never known about as well. So you may find photos of, you know, third great grandparents, second great grandparents, uh, all sorts of documents, um, you know, I mean, my own family, I have pictures going back to my third great grandparents. And I would not have those along with tons of other photos of other second great grandparents and great grandparents, all coming from different cousins of mine all over the world. So, you know, this is a great overview of what you can find. Um, you know, I wish it kind of went into a bit more, you know, you can't do so much in five and a half minutes, but I'll have to rewatch the uh, Finding Your Roots with Dr. Phil because I can't remember if uh, they talked about any of those families. I remember seeing that episode because that's the episode with Quest Love, and that's like literally one of my favorite storylines is, you know, Quest Love learning about his family uh, history. Um, you know, it's just such a great story. Um, so it's, it, I know that episode, but the quest love stuff kind of outshines everything else in the episode. So I don't really remember much about Dr. Phil's uh, stuff. So I'm going to look into that. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Please be sure to put any, uh, suggestions in the comments below. I'm looking for all sorts of genealogy related videos to, uh, react to. So, you know, anything like this with family history, adoption uh, videos, um, DNA test results, anything uh, that you might think is related to genealogy, link it down below for me and I might just react to it. Um, but thank you so much for checking out this video and sticking around to the end. If you did enjoy, please be sure to give it that thumbs up. Really helps me out. You can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe. It's completely free to do so. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. I will see you in my next video.